Hello there, Tyrant here, and I just finished watching episode one of Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online or Gale Gun. I don't remember what it was called. GGO. And so this is kind of the spin off of the Sword on Online series. And for most people, Sword Art Online has been one of those shows that you either love it or hate it. I'm somewhere in the latter. I enjoyed it for what it was. It was kind of corny at times, but it was enjoyable for the period it was. Now, for this show, the spin-off of Gungale Online, I enjoyed the world that that this game took place in. It's your basic um, uh, first-person shooter, and it was fun to see our main protagonist, Kirito, in it and be a little bit different. It was kind of jokingly, but now we're back in there with our new lead, uh, Lan? Len? Len? Like double L E N N. Our, our little tiny pig squeak um, in like a little rabbit costume. It's really mm, costumish, uh, which is really funny because, you know, the, right now the popular game is Fortnite and you can be wildly absurd characters. So seeing this game, uh, GGO, in such a light, where everyone's so militaristic. Um, seeing a this in character with like very bright pink colors, but I digress. So first episode, you know, intro to their characters. We get this little girl character um, being uh, in a battle royale setting, <laughs> surprisingly, uh, with a. A bigger guy who seems to have some like skill, uh, tactical knowledge of the game. Uh, I believe his name was M. And you know, it's a it's a up to six man squad thing, and uh, it's just the two of them. So like, all right, let's see how this goes. Two two v squad. Let's do this. So you know, you're seeing it like it was classic. You're seeing the characters a little bit. It seems like Len knows for the most part the the mechanics of the game but she does know the tactics so she's kind of letting M kind of help her along but it seems like she's being used as bait which is really funny uh, and then they encounter a pro team and by pro team I mean actual professional uh, like military people playing this game and M just kind of notes that they might be using the game as um, tactical practice and stuff like that you know for the most part we as gamers would just have fun with it and not go too high intense with it you know um, but you know having this virtual field for testing that's kind of cool though um, so going against that level of pros you know there's pros and then there's gamer pros like like yeah so that was kind of giving Len a little bit of anxiety on that like okay what's gonna happen here and thanks to some fun comeuppance if you found this video from Instagram you saw one of my favorite clips of Len just kind of hiding in a suitcase and surprising the surprising the the enemy and doing that because that's normally not like how real world works and thanks to her skills you know this is still a game so it seems her most of her skills are put into speed so she's abnormally fast which is really fun to watch um because yes for the for the most part this is a game so there are things that won't happen in the real world um but yeah you know it, it was a fun fun match um so far i'm enjoying the characters um, we later find out that Len or Lan, I gotta figure out her name once I watch it again, is this older, uh, taller uh, woman. I forgot her name now, but yeah, you know, it's it's fun to see that. Uh, you know, that's what's fun about games that you don't get to be the person you. You can be whatever you want to be in this world. Um, so we'll probably learn why she made this character and everything because it's like a complete opposite of what she is. Uh, yeah, we'll see from there. And it seems like she has her little only like her little fan right th fans right there with her. Um, but what? We'll, we'll see how that goes. But for the most part, I'm glad we're back into the GGO. Um, see what kind of story they'll go. Um, that's what I'm worried about is what kind of storyline because 
the, uh, the Sword Art Online stories have been, always been a little dark uh, as far as uh, the, the plot. Um, and not that I'm looking for a dark plot, I'm hoping for a fun plot. You know, let them enjoy the game, tournament, something. You know, I don't need some giant conspiracy or something. I just want them to have fun in the world. G guns, games, tournaments, give me that. But I may be asking for much. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you guys thought. And we'll go from there. Um, so, yeah. Next, on to the next spring anime. So thanks again for watching. Until next time.